Welcome back, guys. Let's see what's going on in the commander's quarters. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Commander, our current position is here, just outside Resistance Headquarters. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local Resistance cell nearby. Tygen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Okay, so we've got to contact the resistance in the Black Sight region. Okay, cool. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. And here we go, another mission. What a surprise. Uh, abandoned colony. <clears throat> Six days to investigate, and we get some rookies. Uh, well, I guess. Avenger let's investigate. New course. Commander, while we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. Let's do it. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Okay, so our first technology research has been done, and we've now got modular weapons. This means that when we uh, when we loot parts, like uh, scopes or extended magazines or whatever, we can uh, we can utilize them. That's awesome. Should we assign some new research? I think we should. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's carry on. Yeah, accept that. Right. Resistance communications. This has to be the next one, I think. Well, it's either that or we do the advent officer autopsy. Um, man. And we really want to get on to magnetic weapons, but that takes a long time. This only takes one day, the officer uh, autopsy. This is seven days. Uh, let's, you know what? Let's get the officer autopsy out of the way, and then we'll get onto the resistance communication. So, yeah, let's the do advent that. officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Cool. I gotta say, they're not as messy. The autopsies aren't as messy as they were in the last XCOM. I like the old messy autopsies. Okay, while they're uh, while they're doing that research, um, it's going to take three days. Uh, let's get back to the geoscope. Working at the Advent Clinic. I 
Right, so um, let's carry on with these uh, with these rookies. And we should get the. Uh, here we go. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. Well, there you go. <laughs> Use the Skulljack item on an Advent officer in combat to gain access to the alien communication network. So it's kind of a, a twist on the old uh, capturing live aliens. Now you've got to <laughs> Skulljack them. Oh, okay, sounds good. That's, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Commander. I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Okay, right, let's carry on. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Okay, and now we get access to the Proving Ground, an experimental workspace where Shen can test and produce new, unique types of ammo, grenades, and armor for our soldiers. Awesome. Well, we definitely want to do that. Uh, I guess, what are we going to get on to next? I think it's got to be the resistance communications. That's kind of uh, our high priority thing. I think we need to get on with this. I'll see that work Done. begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's get back to uh, let's. Um, how are we doing with clearing this? We've got one day to clear this alien debris. Okay, so I guess we uh, I guess we will carry on then. And I think we've got well, well, we've got two days left on this. So here we go. Alien debris cleared. Awesome. Uh, let's, let's take a look. Ooh, so we could build Proving Ground, we could build uh, the laboratory. This is going to take 100 supplies, 14 days. Uh, we've got laboratory, we've got workshop, we've got power relays, advanced warfare center. <laughs> oh, and guerrilla tactics. This unlocks additional skills and benefits for our soldiers, including an increase to the number of soldiers we can take on a single mission. Now, that is obviously, like, huge, being able to take six soldiers with us instead of four. How many supplies have we got? We've got 166 supplies. We're getting 150 a month. Uh, we have got 12 power, so we've got six power left. This takes three. Uh, well, I don't think we've got any uh, option. We have to build the proving ground, so... 
let's just Probably let's start work on get this it facility done. right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Okay, there is currently an unstaffed engineer who can assist in building the proving ground. Would you like to assign them here? Yes, of course we would. Okay. That increases the speed by 50%. Alright, cool. Um, so, that's uh, that's all of that then. So now, get back to here and uh, let's get our reward. Let's get some Let's get some rookies. Okay. Oh, and we got a bunch of rookies. Uh, like one, two, three, four, like four new rookies. Excellent. Okay. New soldier acquired. We'll have to rename all of these guys, obviously. Beth King, Yonsong, and Kathleen Gray. Okay, well, all we can do is um, is head back to Resistance HQ and uh, try and gain some more Setting intel. For West Africa. Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations, the aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. Awesome. Let's take a look at the mission. Okay, we uh, we need to rescue a VIP. Oh, great. Re <laughs> VIP rescue missions are always tough. Uh, but we get a scientist and we get 110 intel. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, now one of the reasons that I played this on uh, on only veteran level is so that I can do this. I can take more rookies along, which if we were playing on a, more, on a higher difficulty level, we just would not do this. But I want to try and include as many of you guys as possible. So um, we're taking along three new rookies, and they are uh, Lewis Bentley. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and Bickety Bam, Australian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's... His nickname is going to be Bob. <laughs> I love that. Oh, so good to have Bickety in. Uh, who else we've got? Oh, and Brianna Bree. Nickname Honey. Honey Bree. You get it? Uh, and we're also taking along um, Regina Slayer to, uh, to like command the mission and uh, hopefully get a promotion. Because she didn't get a promotion in the last one. I do want to level our snipers up, so we're, we're taking her. And plus, we could do with a little bit of backup with three rookies. This, this is not going to be easy. Uh, to try and give us a little bit of help, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just upgrade. We've got one weapon upgrade. Uh, we got a scope. Now, we can, uh, we can use this to increase our, uh, the aim by 5%. So I think we're going to do that. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Alrighty. So now we can get on and do this mission. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. We're moving in to try and pull off an emergency rescue operation for the resistance. The spokesman gave us the coordinates of a VIP currently being held by Advent forces in this area. We need to secure the site, remove any hostiles standing in our way, and free the prisoner. Menace 1-5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Positions concealed. Okay, I've had a little look around the area. We're, um, we've got to recover a, a VIP prisoner who's in this cell here. And the door's going that way by the look of it. And we've got our extraction point over there. And we've got 12 turns to get the VIP and get extracted. So we kind of need to get a move on. So I think... Uh, I've already found... Uh, you know what? I've already found a great spot for Slayer. I'm going to put Slayer up on this building. Bestätigt. Yes, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. Get up that building. Go, go, go. Good job. Can you see anything? No, apparently she can't. Right. Everybody else, I think we're just going to move up pretty aggressively. So... Let's do this. I think our chances of getting spotted are fairly slim at this juncture. Um, yeah, let's have you up there. Let's just get everybody on this, on this truck. 
everything else like a plan. And Bickety. We'll have you up to there. Cool. Oh, we oh we've got a patrol coming in. Cool. Alright. We can set up a nice ambush for them, I think. Now that's two grunts. Now you could take them out with one grenade. Um, how about how about we move into cover like around here yeah okay let's have Bree you get over get by this done. door hostiles making the rounds oh we've got to uh, we've got two more uh, okay that makes things interesting all right. Okay, so that means we've got to take all these guys out. Okay, this is going to be a hell of an ambush. Um, so you get... Oh, man. Maybe there. Yeah, you get over there. Affirmative. Yeah, this is going to be interesting now, guys. This is actually going to be pretty interesting. Right, Bob. Bickety Bob. Get over there. Cool. Right, now, where are we going to put Regina? I want Regina to have a chance of a shot. Or she could do the grenade. Ah, yeah, she could do the grenade. So I'm thinking if we move her uh, down here. You know what? Uh, there. Yeah, get down there. No I'm not putting her in cover because she's still concealed, so there's kind of no point. As long as she doesn't get spotted by someone. Oh, they're coming. They're good. They're now, they could have walked off, but if they're going to come down here, then that's kind of perfect. That should put those two in grenade range. Ooh. They haven't spotted us. Yet. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, this is this is looking like it might actually be quite good. So what we'll do is, uh, are you in grenade range? That's the only question. Let's see. Yeah, she can get both of them. Okay, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the trigger for the ambush, and then it's just these three. I think do we put all three of them on Overwatch or two of them on Overwatch and have one in reserve with a grenade maybe? And that's probably the smart way to do it. So yeah, we'll have um, Lewis. You go on Overwatch. Bree will save you with the grenade, just in case. And you got pretty good shots on these guys. So we'll have you, Overwatch. Roger, I've got my eyes on. It's just a quite like, what's your shots on these guys? You got high percentage shots on these guys. I, th I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Yeah. Okay, so, Regina. Where I guess we can move you up to this corner. Is it anywhere closer that we can move? No, we can't move any closer without getting spotted. So yeah, let's move you up to there. Look up. Yep, and grenade right on top of these guys. Yep, throw your granata. <laughs> Boom! Two kills. Nice job. Well done. Right. Oh, one of them's a sectoid. Here we go. Oh, nice. Five damage on the sectoid. That's excellent. Come on, take him down. Come on, Bentley. Oh, you missed, you lemon. Target's still up. Oh, that kind of sucks. 
but now if you move to there did you get a flanking shot uh, now again we've got the grenade but we can I think we can only take one of them out uh, let's move this one. yeah we can only take out one of these guys with the grenade oh that's a damn shame that's a damn shame I've got a sneaking suspicion if we if we kill this guy, there's a good chance he'll run. The sectoids seem to run a lot. Uh, I wonder if we just move like over here and just take a shot. Oh, can't quite get the shot. Damn. Oh man, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that that kind of really sucks. Like one square, if she'd moved to there, she would have had a flanking shot on this guy. That would have been an easy kill. Um, we're you know we're in full cover. I, I'm almost tempted to Overwatch. Fifty-eight percent, thirty-eight percent, or do we just take this guy? You know what? Let's take the guaranteed kill. Let's just take this guy out. Uh, so, come on, grenade! What the hell? There we go. Let's just take this guy out. Uh, yeah, there. Take out that cover as well. Fire Boom! Roll. Okay, that's got rid of him. Now, the question is, is he going to run? And I kind of hope he does. They're trying to fall back. Are you going to fall back? No, he didn't move. Oh, he just, he just sat there. Okay, well, that's good for us. Right, so... Bob. Bob hasn't got a promotion yet. If I move Bob... That should be a flanking shot from there. Okay, Bob. Bob, get up here. Yeah, crash through the window. Be manly. There you go, flanking shot, 76%. Finish him off. Boom. Yes! Nice! Well done, Bob. Okay, so he's got a promotion. Uh... Regina hasn't got her promotion yet. Lewis has got his promotion. And Brianna's got her promotion. So the three rookies have got promoted. But we could do, with it. We could do another kill for Regina. Get her promoted. She keeps, she keeps missing though. Well, she's only missed like once. <laughs> She'll kill me. Uh, Alright. I guess we can move people up now. So you know what? Lewis, come up here. I uh, can, can Bree get to the other side of the door? No. Oh, man. Lewis, I, you know what? I'm going to take the chance. That's affirmative. I'm going to take the chance. Come up here, right, and open this door. He's got a grenade. We've got, like, two grenades, potentially. Open this door. What we got in there? Yeah, nothing. Empty room. And that leads into this room, which I think leads into that. Certainly looks that way. Okay. Um, is it? But it looks. Yeah. 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 Okay. And it looks pretty empty. Oh, do I push it? It's only half cover. You know what? Move. Move up to there. That shouldn't reveal anything. Good. Okay. That means we can, we can move Brie in here as well. Um, the hell is that? What the hell is that? No idea. Just, just get in there. Okay. So let's get Slayer up here as well. Do you want an opportunity to jump through a window? 
Yeah, okay. Schon dabei. She likes jumping through windows. I mean, I'm talking about Regina in real life. She likes jumping through windows. There you go. How much Venice did you enjoy that? Be advised, hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Okay, so that means move yourselves. Okay, let's go around here. So, where is the? Okay, this. Yeah, this is the locked cell. So let's uh, let's get up here and unlock it then. Come on, Lewis. Moving on target. Okay, and unlock this. Hack it. Ooh, what little bonuses are we going to have? 5% um, chance of a small cache of supplies, 3% chance of a large cache of supplies. Well, let's, let's take the small. 5%. Oh, not quite. Not quite. All right, never mind. Cool. So we've got our VIP. Excellent. Menace 1 5 status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. Right. Let's get to the extraction point. Now, where's the extraction point? There's the extraction point. So, we want to, I guess, come out this door. Uh, there isn't a door over here. Um, although, we could potentially make a door over here. <laughs> we've got... Uh, we've still got... Have we, actually, that's a good point. Have we got any grenades? Yeah, we've got a grenade. Bickety's got a grenade. And I think... No, no, it's just Bickety's got a grenade. All right. Let's move Bickety up. Let's move him up. That's uh, like as far as we can get him. Let's move him up to Location there. confirmed. And Slayer, let's get you moved up as well. Sean on yes. Whatever you said, I'm sure it's right. And uh, that's the VIP. Let's get Brianna moved up to this door. Let's, let's Spin this around so we can see what the hell we're doing. So we want you up to this door so you can open it. Uh, it's very difficult to see sometimes. So I get, I guess. Okay, so that's, so that's the spot we would want, I would think. I'm all over it. Yeah, cool. Right, so the VIP. Um, what? What the hell? Oh, I guess that Bic uh, he's in the way, so we, we can't move through the door. Oh, that's a nuisance. Okay, well, let's just move you to there, then. It's as far as we can move you. Okay, um, hunker down, then. Oh, what? No, don't close the door, you idiot. Uh, you can't hunker down. Okay, no, oh well. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's end the turn then. They're bringing in reinforcements. Oh, we've got reinforcements coming in. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. We've still got seven turns to get the hell out of here. So, let's, let's get moving. Open the door. Can we see anything? Oh, y oh yes, we've got... Sectoid and a grunt who were just standing there. Awesome! Has anybody got a shot on them? No. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking grenade. What are you thinking? Uh, you don't have a grenade. Bickety has. Oh, Lewis has got a grenade as well. It's a case of like getting the getting the opportunity to throw it though. See if if he moves to there, I don't think he's going to be able to throw the grenade because I think they I think they'll react. Okay, that's that's a shame. Um, I guess the only thing we can do is actually Understood. try it. Moving out. Oh, 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 oh. So, can you get a grenade down on these two guys? Oh, man. Ah. Uh, 
I'd like to be able to take the corner of the building out if I could. It'd be kind of useful. Out oh, there. I think that gets one of them. Oh, yep. Got the sectoid. That'll do. We still... We still can't see these guys, though. Crazy. Uh, where's Bickety? Bickety's the other one with a grenade. Now, we've opened up the building. So, I'm thinking, move down there. You've got to be able to see them from there, surely. What the hell? No, you kidding me? You can drop a grenade in. Go for it. That's blind, but... Yes! Killed one. That leaves us with this guy. Now, <laughs> we're going to use the pistol skills of the, uh, the, the the sharpshooter, they're called now. So I'm going to move her up into full cover here. There we go. Oh, it's not a flanking shot anymore. But she's still got a 58%. percent got to be worth a try. Come on, execute him. Good job! And she gets the promotion. Excellent. Okay, well that worked out well. Alrighty. Uh, so. Uh, we can move Bree up to get the loot. So Moving on target get location. up here. There we go. All right. Oh, an Illyrium core, an advanced repeater. This weapon upgrade when, install, when installed adds a small chance that any successful shot will instantly kill the target. Oh, I like that. Alien data cache. Uh, mysterious storage devices carried only by aliens contain a wealth of intel. Whoa, extremely valuable. Oh, we like that. All right. Take all that stuff. Good job. Got it. Right. Um, so where are we going? We're going. We're going over here, and we've got enemies coming in there. You know what? Why don't we overwatch you there? Come get some. And then we've just got the VIP. Let's put the VIP somewhere safe. How about there? Yeah, and you... Oh, you can hunker them down. Okay. You hunker down there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What are we going to get? Opportunities for... Uh, we've got three guys. Another three kills. Oh, we like that. I've got eyes on an admin position. Oh, come on. Take one of them. Oh, you missed! Oh, Bree. That is not good. Yeah, you're not kidding. All right, I think we've used all of our grenades now, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. You got 47, 32. Lewis can't do anything. 59. A 59 on this guy. I'm wondering. Oh, she can't quite get to the truck. Damn it, that's a shame. But what? why isn't it a flanking on this guy? I don't understand that. Surely that should be a flanking shot. She's in line with him. You know what? I'm going to move it to there and see. Is it a flanking shot from position. there? Yes, now it's a flanking shot. It's only 68, but it's worth a try. Go for it. Yes, beautiful. Bree is making a name for herself. I'm impressed, Bree. All right, cool. So that's one down. So we've got two more to go. We've got six turns. So we're not like really in any hurry for this. Uh, this is only half cover here. Like, like, what if we moved up? I don't know. 
Wait, wait. What cover can we get, like, inside the building that we could utilise? And we're already using that. So the, the only thing you can do is come up to there. But we can't reach there. Uh, Slayer, what's your shoot? You've got a 60 on that. Oh, that 60's got to be worth a try, hasn't it? Yeah, come on, Regina. Take him down. Yes, beautifully done. Leaving us with one guy to take out. Oh, Lewis, what can you do? Oh, we got actually we got we got Lewis and we got Bickety. Ooh, you know, I'm really tempted to move Bickety to there and just take a shot at this guy. Come on, Bickety, you can do it. You can do it. I have every every confidence. Oh, 44%. That's not so great. Come on, impress me. Impress me. <laughs> You've got to be Come joking. On, focus. Yeah, you're not kidding, you Focus. That leaves us with Lewis. Ay, ay, ay. And I don't think Lewis can do all that much. Um... Could put him there, which would give him a shot. Oh well. Moving to position. Okay, Lewis, you've now got Bickety's life in your hands, and you got a 30% shot on this guy. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, do it. Be the gun. Oh boy, are we in trouble now? Yeah, we're in so much trouble. Let's move. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's put the VIP in cover. Uh, where can we put him where like he couldn't get shot? So I'm worried that this guy's going to like come in here and take a shot at him or something. You know what? Come over here. And that were uh, I just clicked in the wrong place. Okay, thank God that he gets two moves. That was where I wanted you. Oops. <laughs> Not good. He didn't do anything. Oh, he's in Overwatch. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll... We'll just shoot him then. So we've got 34. He's got a good shot on this guy. Bickety, do you want to make up for your previous um, mistake? Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, he had about six bullets actually go through his head. And apparently we missed. That's a 27. That's a 34. What about with a pistol shot? Yeah, 41. Oh, it's a big ask. It's a big ask. You know what? Uh, we're probably better off. With the gap, because like if you got the hit and it then it only did two damage, that would be bad. Come on, come on, Regina. Prove your shot, shooter. Yes. Yeah, Overwatch removed along with his head. <laughs> oh, nice job, guys. Well, we've got five turns left. We've killed loads of people. I think we can just get the hell out of here. Um. Bree, move up to this truck. Way. I think I think we should be good to like just get out of here. But well, I guess we'll t I guess we'll take it slow. There's no reason to go crazy. Um, let's move. Oh, you know what? Where's Oh, okay, so yeah, Lewis. Oh man, 
I didn't want to really race him out there, but I can't move Bickety anymore. So, I guess, I don't know, maybe Slayer can't move. So, uh, you know what, I'm going to move, I'm going to move Bree up to here. Oh, that's full cover there. Okay, Bree, move Forest up to there, see if you can see anything. Move. No, in that case, it should be safe to move up. So, Lewis, you move up to... You move up to the Board truck. Moving out. And we'll put the VIP... Uh, there. Cool. Alright. My god, this is... This is going kind of, sort of, okay at the moment. Right, let's uh, let's put you uh, let's put you in Overwatch like, just in case. Got it covered. Although I don't think anything bad's going to happen. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, you're just out of range. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Now is the VIP okay? We can get the VIP into here. So let's move him in there, and we can evac him. So boom, get out of there. Securing in position for evac. Yeah, rope him out. Yep, yeah, go go go. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. All right, so now we just got to get uh, get the soldiers out, which shouldn't really be too much of a problem. Let's move you in. I don't know. Uh, where's that's probably the best Step cover around. You uncover anything? Nope. Okay. So let's put. Three over there. Anything? Nope. So, you can't quite get there. Let's move you up to there. Okay. That should be safe. Oh, this has gone pretty nicely. I'm kind of... Kind of enjoying this. Uh, right, do... Okay, let's move you up to there. We'll just end the turn, and then we can eat back everybody next Menace turn. Menace 1-5, hostile interceptors are on high-speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Oh, we've got more incoming. Ooh, we might be able to get some more kills. Oh, I like that idea. Uh, let's set up an ambush, if we can. Um, where are they going to come in? That's the question, though. Okay, well I tell you, I guess we cover the four the four corners. So let's have uh you know what? Let's move oh I can't move him. Uh, we can move Bickety. Let's put Bickety on this corner. Good copy, moving on target. Yep. And we'll reload him. Yeah, reload. All Ready right. to engage! You, uh, you can go into Overwatch. Scanning. And that leaves us with Slayer. You know what? You can go into Overwatch there. Fire shots. Yeah, okay. Right. And, oh, you can go into Overwatch as well. I'm on it. Overwatch. Right. They're going to show up this turn. Nope, they're going to show up. I'm guessing next turn. All right. So I guess we just put everybody into Overwatch. Yeah, let's do it. So you Overwatch there. Uh, yeah, you Overwatch there. You know, Overwatch and Bickety. Moving to Overwatch. End the turn. Menace one five. You're out of time. Get to the evac point now. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, we've got to get out of here. So, yeah, no more enemies. Okay. Well, that's a disappointment. I thought we were going to get another bunch of guys coming in. Okay. Well, let's get the hell out of here then. On my way. That's a shame. Okay. Evac. It said people were coming in, evac didn't it? Confirmed. Yeah, come on. Get out. Go, go, go. And, yep, you can evac. Head down. And, 
Slayer. Yeah, you get in there. And evac. I keep I keep pressing that evac button up there rather than the one down here, which is annoying. But hey. And Pinkety. closing on target position now. Yeah, closing on the target. Uh, not Overwatch evac. Get out of there. And. Was that flawless? I think that was flawless again, wasn't it? Yeah, flawless. Nine enemies killed. Good job. Alrighty. Well, we couldn't have done much better than that, could we? That was a good mission. I enjoyed that. That was fun. Uh, shot percentage, 50%. Average damage per attack, 3.6. It's lots of interesting stats. I don't like this sometimes. Most damage dealt. Regina Slayer. Good job. All right, let's get out of here. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive work. I agree. Very impressive. Uh, let's do some promotion, shall we? So let's, uh, you know what? Let's start with Regina. She's been waiting for her promotion. Let's get it. So, oh, oh, what do we got here? Return fire. When targeted by enemy fire, automatically fire back with your pistol once per turn. Kind of nice. Long watch. Allow oversight. Uh, uh, sorry, allow overwatch to trigger with squad sight. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. I, what do you think? Return fire? Allow Overwatch trigger with squad sight. I mean, I, I think they're probably both fairly okay. Uh, I, I think maybe go with this return fire thing. I don't know. I, 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 that's very situational. Because she's she's going to be like out of the out of the freight most of the time. I am going to go with long watch. Yeah, we'll go with long watch. Yeah, good. Okay, continue. Corporal Slayer, love it. Right, let's see, Bentley. What are you going to get? You are a grenadier. Cool, good job. So that's another, we've got two Grenadiers, that's excellent. Uh, let's see, Bickety, what are you going to get, mate? You're a Ranger! Bickety's our second Ranger. Oh, he's going to be, he's going to like that. He's going to be very happy with that. Which means, what is Bree going to be? Sniper or Specialist, I'm guessing, but you never know. Oh, Sniper, Bree. Well, she pulled off some good shots, so I'm not surprised that, that, you know, that they pick her for a for a sharpshooter. Well done, Bree. All righty, guys, that was like massive fun. Should we see what? Should we see? Here we go. We've got the Illyrium Core, the Advanced Repeater, a 10% chance. Wow, it said a low chance. I thought it was going to be like a couple of percent. A 10% chance to instantly kill your target. Wow, that's huge. Okay, alien data cache. I guess that's going to have um, decent value on the black market, is what I'm guessing. Alrighty. Having recently discovered an alien data cache, storing valuable enemy intelligence, I can dedicate my team's resources to decrypting the files and ensuring that we recover the large amount of intel stored within. Oh, oh well, we, we get it ourselves. Okay, good. Good job. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Well, I'm glad you're impressed. Operation Spectral Flame. We get a scientist, we get 110 intel. Oh. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. You're welcome, Tygen. Alrighty, guys. Well, that was just peachy. Things are going well. All right, you know what? Come back for the next one. Peace out.